So here comes the Weber State offense. Fourth in the Big Sky at 34.8 points per game. That's number 20 in the FCS. Stephen Cantwell, the 6'2", 220-pound senior quarterback, comes under center, play action, hit as he throws, dumps it off, far side of the field, caught by Andrew Vullert, the tight end, who lost the football, and Cal Poly has it. The sure-handed All-American tight end fumbles the football in the game's first play, and Cal Poly picks it up at the Weber State 43. So now third and 15. Three receivers right, one to the left. Garrett the lone tail back, Kentwell to throw. Over the middle, intercepted. Katu Humphrey across the 25, now the 30-35. Tries to juke around a couple of Wildcats, still on his feet, and finally goes to the grass at the 33 with a penalty marker down. Could be a horse collar against Weber State. Yeah, that's what I bet it would be. But Katu Humphrey, what a return. Maybe get him back there returning kicks because he is a guy that is not easy to take down. And once again, Stephon Cantwell just putting it up for grabs. And Katu Humphrey this time able to capitalize with a couple of steps on tight end Andrew Vollert. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, can't put the blame on you. Katu <laughs> Humphrey should have had the pick the play before. Yep, personal foul. Horse collar tackle against Weber State and the interception return that went to the 33 will move up 15 yards to the 48. Lining her out for Cal Poly. Snap back, ball down, kick on the way, he got it. So Blett nails his seventh field goal of the season and the Mustangs finally have some points on the scoreboard with a minute 17 left to play in the second quarter. That ties his season long of 43 yards out. And I believe that actually was Brock Mortensen. I think the PA guy. Okay, so I was right. Yeah. There you go, Chris. I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Jeffrey on the option. Pitches near side of the field. Mortensen springs across midfield, and he's dropped near the original line of scrimmage at the 46-yard line of Weber State, setting up the Mustangs with third and 10. And just going back really quickly to that slot back conversation, they obviously have a lot of talent there. Kyle Lewis, one of the biggest play threats in the country. Malcolm Davis has shown bursts of being able to do some jittery bug things, but it's just the consistency has not been there across the board for Cal Poly. Third. If we're getting one positive out of the offensive side of the ball for Cal Poly today, it's the play of Brock Mortensen. He has played well. He beat a tackle from Taron Johnson, a second team all big skyer last year. So he's really coming into his own in the second game, really getting some touches. A very friendly ball spot. Nine yards, not seven. Jeffrey going to the air. Wide open. Mortensen has it inside the 25 to the 20. 15-10. And finally driven out of bounds at the four-yard line of Weber State. This evening in Cedar City. They'll move to 3-1 and one in the conference. Under three and a half minutes left to play. Again, Garrett around that right side out to the numbers. Lost the football. Now Polly saying they have it. And they do. I hope I spoke too soon. I don't think I spoke too soon, but I certainly hope I did. Yeah, well, you know, Cal Poly, they haven't shown... Uh, the ability to, to punch the ball in the end zone today. So they have three minutes and 20 seconds to, <laughs> to, to, to get a couple scores. To get a couple of them. But hey, this does help. Obviously, having the ball, being able to score uh, is one of the prerequisites for a comeback. 